Have you noticed that whenever you see somebody in the dream, you automatically know the full details about a particular person? Like you meet somebody in the dream that you have never met before and you just know the name of this person. It's like you know the location of this person. It's like you know everything about this person. Have you noticed that? That is what we call the realm of the Noah. Now the Noah realm is activated when you're in the spirit. That's why whenever you have a dream, you know, you are fully in the spirit. You just, you know everything. You are in a building, you know the exit. You have never been to that building in your life, but you just know everything about that place. It's called the realm of the Noah. That is the, that the, the Noah is a part of you that knows things without any um, pre-information or any background knowledge. You just know everything. But guess what? It is possible for you to be fully awake and that realm is activated. Do you know the Bible says something? In Matthew chapter 17, the Bible said Jesus took Peter, James, John to, and John to the mountain. Guess what? The Bible said two men appeared. And Peter said, let us build an altar for Elijah and Moses. The question is this, how did Peter know that these men were Elijah and Moses? This is the Noah realm. If you are in the spirit, you know all things. In Luke chapter 9, we saw the same story. How did they know that these men were Peter and Elijah? It is the realm of the Noah. You are just sitting and somebody, somebody's image just flashes to you. And the next thing you are seeing that person. And you are wondering, I just thought about you now. It's the Noah. Or you just see somebody, you just know. It's like you know the full details about this person. And they are, you are wondering, how, how did I get to know? And later you make your findings and you discover that every single detail that came to your heart was true. Is the realm of the Noah. It's called the intuition. You did not read a book to get that knowledge. You did not go to, that, to a particular school to get that knowledge. It is the knowledge imparted from the Holy Spirit to your spirit. Now look at it. The Bible says they were on the mountain. So it means that if you want your life to be in that, in that realm 247, it means you must live a life in the spirit. You must live a life called the mountain top life. When Saul went to look for somewhere, when the, the, the axes were missing, the, when they were directing Saul, they said Saul, they said Samuel was on the mountain top. That, 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 if, you, if you want to live that kind of life where nothing catches you by surprise, let me tell you, it's a mountain top experience. You must live a life in the spirit. You see, I'm, we're going to be having, I'm going to be having a series. When we are done with the invisible realm, I'm going to be teaching prophetic series, the realm of the prophetic. I'm going to show you signs to know you are called to be a prophet. I'm, I'm going to be teaching some deep realities. So if you don't want to miss this, please subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Like this video so this video can spread. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell. All right? It helps the video. If you, if you like, it will help the video to spread to a greater number of people. In your dream, you just you know every single detail. You know every single detail. I'm telling you right now, that the same way it is in your dream, it can be in the physical. The difference is that in your dream, you are fully in the spirit mode. So that's why you, you, your, your spiritual sense is very sharp and very sharp. But in the physical realm, you are not fully in spirit mode. You are both flesh and spirit. So the key now is this. You have to now learn to live consistently in the spirit for these realities to become physical. How do you do it? You must consistently give yourself to prayers, study of God's word, fasting. Listen. When I'm talking about consistency in prayers, I'm talking about pray daily. Have structured time. Let it be like a routine. That you know, at this particular time, my phones are off, my data is off. I want to read my Bible. I want to pray. You, you set out days, some days in the week to fast. At least two to three times a week, you should be fasting. You this how to live a life in the Spirit. You are, you are in your working place. You are just meditating on the Holy Ghost. Meditating. Ah, yeah, pray. Okay, let's say you had a dream. And you met your great grandmother or your great grandfather somebody you have never met before that's long gone to be with the lord how did you know that was your great grandmother and in the dream you just you just had a knowing that this is my great grandmother this is my great grandfather of course i don't <laughs> i don't really support seeing dead people in the dream but how did you know that was the person sometimes you just wake up you had a dream and you just woke up and 
automatically you just add the knowledge of the interpretation of the dream and the dream may not even be the, the interpretation you received may not even look like what you saw how does seven fat cows and seven slim cows represent seven years of abundance and seven years of famine so sometimes these visions so are you getting what i'm saying learn to learn to trust your knower trust that intuition trust that intuition somebody's giving you a job offer you just know this thing is a scam trust the intuition trust it trust it god has made everything available to us we just have to grow into these realities you wake up this is out of no interpretation the interpretation of your dream when you wake up don't just jump from your bed peep into that dream look into the dream Sometimes you will just have the knowing immediately that is what this dream is talking about. Sometimes it will come during the day. Maybe you just saw a car passed by and you just had the interpretation. How does the car relate to the dream? Is that is the realm of the spirit works. I have many series to teach us on. Oh my God. I will also teach on the realm of dreams. Oh my God. You don't want to miss that series. A lot of series to share. Don't forget to stay on this channel. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. All right. There are many more powerful contents coming up. Okay, I'm so excited for it because the Lord has been feeding me, feeding my spirit with contents, with contents to share to the body of Christ. Thank you very much.